Welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day I am filming again and it feels so good to be planning a video for you guys and some upcoming videos for you. Thank you so much for being so understanding. I didn't even expect to take a couple of days off last week from filming and editing, but that's what ended up happening. So thank you for being so patient with me while the world is changing and we all needed a little moment. I have not taken off any time from work yet, but I am planning that probably for July because mama's exhausted still. But last week was really a great time to learn and do what I can and I'm going to continue to do that. But today what I'm going to be doing is something I haven't done since pre-pandemic. Back I think March 15th was the last time I posted a purchase or pass type video. Mostly because I was like, you know what? This is not appropriate. It is not the time to look at makeup, to see what's new, all of those things because it just, people were losing their jobs and I just kind of felt like I was not gonna be buying anything for a while for a multitude of reasons. And the same with you guys. A lot of you were on board with that. Today is gonna be the first day I'm really digging back into anything that's been released since the pandemic started. Um, like I said, the last video I posted was March 15th, I do believe, which means it was filmed at least probably three, maybe four days in advance to film it, edit it, get it ready for you guys while still working my day job. So I was just like, you know what? I honestly haven't even looked at Trend Mood's Instagram unless it happened to pull up on my feed, but then it was just like a random scroll. It wasn't anything I've been focused on the past two plus months. So today I kind of thought, you know what? I, you may hear sounds outside because the world is slowly opening back up. As we all know, Florida is going on to the newest phases recently. So I'm interested to kind of look at stuff, but I'm going to be really real with you. And I'm not in a purchasing mindset at the moment for makeup. And it very well could be because I know boxy charms are coming. I have multiple boxes. I've got lots of reviews coming. I have a few surprises in store for you guys in upcoming videos. So stay tuned, be subscribed, hit that notification bell because YouTube's being just as wonky as the rest of the world right now. So you may miss out on something. Don't forget to hit that all button when you're looking for notifications. But what I'm really thinking is I'm going to look through this. I'm going to be having a post-pandemic mindset about it where I'm like, you know what? I have made it this long with only, you know, getting new makeup from subscription boxes and stuff like that. I'm not in need or really honestly much want for makeup at the moment. And that's okay. That's fine. So if you're not feeling like you even want to purchase anything, this may be the video for you if you're like, okay, just tell me what's out there for the moment or what's caught your eye over the past two and a half months, but... I'm with you, I don't think I'm buying it. This could be the video for you. Or if you're like, oh my gosh, girl, I am needing to see something new and fresh to kind of just move forward, this could be the video for you too. Let's just jump in to see what we've missed out on the past, I don't know, two and a half months. I don't know if I've missed much, but let's find out. I did scroll through some of this yesterday, trying to come out with some notes for you to see if this video was even worth doing, to be honest, because Again, I I've not been in a purchasing makeup mood for the past two and a half months while we've been going through life. So there are some things that have jumped out at me and some things for good reasons and some things for not so good. So let's get in it. So landing on Trend Moods page, and I also pulled up a couple of different companies that I love, like ColourPop, Essence. There's a few things that I've kind of actually pulled up their websites to, and I have my little laptop in front of me and a couple of notes over here. So let's just talk about some things that as I'm looking through the past two and a half months of new releases, what's caught my eye, what are my thoughts, what are your thoughts, what are the comment thoughts, because I feel like we didn't miss much. That's what I feel like in this moment, but let's see if I'm right. Rewind, rewind. Looking through, I'm trying to see if anything is even inspiring me as I'm scrolling, and so far I'm like, don't need you, don't want you. I feel like a cat swatting things away, like, mm, I don't even know what's happening. No, no, no. Okay, Essence is jumping out at me from seven weeks ago. Again, I am scrolling back into the archives because I've not been buying anything. So for this post from seven weeks ago, jumped out at me for two major reasons. One, Essence. Essence is an amazing, inexpensive brand that even if I'm not feeling like I wanna spend money on something, but I want something new, inexpensive, good quality, 
Essence is totally in that category for me. And they released a picture of a summer collection seven weeks ago. The reason that jumps out at me is summer is that collection time frame for me personally that I always look forward to for the simple fact that I think I've always been a summer girl. Like that, even as a kid, growing up, summer was the time I looked forward to. So summer and essence combined, that gets me excited. Let's look at it. It says new, fun, warmth, beautiful. Summer collection bronzed this way by essence includes a body oil, a blush, eyeshadow palette, two matte bronzers, and a fan brush. Okay, looking at it. It says coming soon. What are your thoughts? Okay, the palette looks kind of cool, but that bronzer that's like a baked bronzy blush, that's what's jumping out at me at the moment. Okay, so this bronzed this way bronzer is looking like something I had years ago. Oh, they're even showing it. Oh, ho, ho. so this reminds me of something I had years ago from Physicians Formula, I think, that it was kind of, do I still have it? I don't even know. I don't think so. And I'm not buying from Physicians Formula anymore because they're no longer cruelty free. Um, but Essence is. And that reminds me of like this blush, bronzy, like illuminating trio that was all in one. That's what that's reminding me of right now. So I was really intrigued by that yesterday. So then I went up over here onto the Essence website and was trying to find anything about this, like specifically that bronzer. But I'm not finding it on their website. And I'm, I was also looking for like new or anything and I can't find anything. So as I was even going back down into the comments for this, I think as of like three weeks ago, people were like, is there any update when the US will receive this? Because it's not being found anywhere and there were no other posts about it. So I'm thinking maybe that PR picture was released, you know, with good intent because seven weeks ago, maybe they thought they could get it out, but now they can't. I don't know, but that was, that was something that I was like, I could see myself interested in that, but I'm not seeing, like people are still asking about it. So unfortunately, something that actually got me excited right out the gate isn't even available, it doesn't seem. So so it's kind of like a uh, follow-up nothing is it happening somebody else even tagged them and said hey essence where can i buy this in the u.s and now i'm over here on essence's instagram scrolling scrolling looks like four weeks ago on the essence cosmetics instagram someone went on their picture of this item and were like uh, where can i find this collection here in the u.s and essence replied well where do you live where are you from and they replied back austin texas is there a store that would find this available no response essence where is this so where maybe they're only in stores maybe that's why i can't find it online i don't know i'm kind of confused if you know where i can find this let me know but that kind of just like it kind of kills the buzz for you you know it's kind of like if i gotta chase you i don't want to go that far out of my way about it i wasn't even into the makeup this is something that i was doing you know it's like ugh. so i can't lie um as i was scrolling through trend mood i just kept feeling like yeah i'm i have not been missing out there's not much I've been missing out on. I didn't really feel like anything through a lot of this time frame is even jumping out at me now when maybe I would be inclined to purchase something. You, like, you know what I mean? Like none of those things are really triggering to me. And maybe that is just flat out, we realized our priorities. Maybe we realized we want to use up more of what we have because you know I love doing that. It's making it easier for me to save my money right now. Okay, I stumbled on this and I had to put this in here because <laughs> one, Oh my gosh, I gotta talk to my friends about it. Two, I do talk about moisturizing other parts of your body, but now Incredible apparently came up with some body masks for targeted areas on a woman's body. So let's talk about it. <laughs> I saw this and it is from Incredible Cosmetics, one hydrating boob and bum sheet mask duo for $15. And that's the part that I just kind of like stopped everything and was like, wait, did I read that right? No, I didn't. I couldn't have. I did. Moisturizes and firms the look of skin. Both are designed to keep your pair looking their perkiest and visibly uplifting your behind. These masks are enriched with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and they start listing out a lot of their good little things in here. 
Um, and then they kind of go into the other products, but let's be serious. Once you get to that point, you're not looking at the other products. You're like, boob and butt mask. That's hysterical. Do I need it? You had the thought for a hot second. Just this long you did. You kind of, little. This is what really I think is jumping out at people that are seeing this. And I tell you guys all the time, I take my skincare down my neck and onto the top of my chest here, the decolletage, the chest area, because especially for my bustier ladies, when you sleep at night, it is still skin that you are, you know, clenching, you're moving, you're shifting it. You're essentially wrinkling it more than you even do your face sometimes. So keeping this moisturized and taking care of that skin too is important. So when I saw something targeted for boobs and butts, I was like, okay. And of course, you know what I had to do immediately. You, the same thing you want me to do right now, go down into the comments. <laughs> One of the first ones, that's not true. Please tell me this is fake. Somebody else just said, don't take this so serious. It sounds fun to try. I can't lie. If that showed up at my door, if for some reason someone sent this to me, if BoxyCharm sent it to me, if Incredible sent it to me, I mean, I feel like I'd be too curious to not try it. The butt one might be harder though. I feel like the boob one would be easier for me. I don't know why, but that's the logic in my head right now. Someone else just said, oh my god, I love this. Officially the weirdest thing to maybe ever be in the makeup community. Someone said they need to put this in an anti-haul. I don't know. I don't hate the idea, but I don't want to buy it myself. I just wanted to show up in my door. I feel like I did see yesterday some people saying that they were thinking that this was really targeting women's insecurities, though, and that it was just a cash grab. And I could see that, too, because it is such an interestingly weird concept, especially considering we're all thinking of makeup when we're on Trend Moods account. So maybe this was a weird forum for that to be put on. I don't know. It's interesting though. Um, I can't say I'm gonna be running out and getting it. It's not like I'm gonna go and purchase it right this second. But like I said, if it showed up at my door, I mean, I would review it for you, but I wouldn't be doing any insert try-ons for you. How's that? How's that? You're welcome for that. You're welcome. All right, clearly something that did come out that was a big topic of controversy. And uh, honestly, I was glad I wasn't filming purchaser passes in that moment because I honestly didn't even want to talk about it with the mindset that I was currently in when this was released. So let's just talk about it. It's the Jeffree Star Cremated Collection. It's not just an eyeshadow palette, but that tends to be where my, my mind goes is eyeshadow palettes because I'm an eyeshadow palette lover. Um, but this one, him aside, even if you don't want to talk about him because I know a lot of people don't like him, he's a little controversial. Um, I, the palette itself does not speak to me. The line itself does not speak to me. I am a very, in my head, at least the way I like to think I project onto the world is colorful, bright. Um, yeah, I like some neutral eye looks though, but I like warms and cool tones and things like that. And you can get all of that out of a gray palette, but it wouldn't be on my face. It wouldn't be something that would, I would gravitate to. I would never reach for that enough. And I feel like on my eyes, I don't think a variety of gray tones are actually going to show up as all of these different shades. I feel like this is such a big palette of grays that it's going to maybe not translate from the eye based off what was in the palette, if you know what I'm saying. Like those gray tones are too similar that on the eye you're not going to be able to differentiate the color Wednesday from the shade Embalmed or well, maybe Embalmed, but like the shade Wednesday from Solemnly Swear, they're very close, at least from what I can tell on this picture. I don't think it's going to translate differently on the eye, but that's just me and my makeup skill set. There may be women out there that can be like, oh girl, I can fan this out and make each one look like it is just faded into this, and you may have those skills. You do it, girl. I will like that picture on Instagram. But for me, this is not a collection at all that would speak to me. And there's a lot of controversy too about the name of the whole collection cremated during a pandemic. Now, I already know that every, the way these things happen is months in advance. He couldn't have predicted it. Should he have released it? That's not for me to say. I'm not his boss, but I wouldn't have the lip sticks that are lip glosses. The lip sticks, I don't need gray on my lips. It's just not something I would reach for. This whole collection kind of doesn't do it for me personally, so that's okay. That was something that did come out during the pandemic that I have to say I was grateful I was not 
doing those type of videos because I was like, I don't have the energy to talk about a controversy in the makeup community when there are real life things going on. You know, like I just didn't have that that in me. So not even worth any more of this video. Let's just move on. Okay, guys, we gotta talk about this and I'm moving my body over because I think this picture might be as big as the palette. I don't know. Um, let's talk about this. Is it... I'm sorry if I say this name wrong of this brand. I've never heard of it. Queen Beauty Shop. They have the Brazilian Carnival palette that has 99 shades in this palette. 99. In one palette. I feel like I get overstimulated in life if I'm trying to write an email and walk like I can't do 99 picture I just to me that seems so overwhelming and I'm curious how large this palette is in person like are these tiny little pans or are they like would I be getting it out like this I don't know I don't I don't understand this is $50 and it has 99 shades of bold glamorous glitters shimmers and matte it looks very colorful, but it also looks like there are a, like colors all over the place. Like as I'm looking at the pinks, like there's pinks up here, there's pinks on top, there's pinks on bottom. I'm just kind of like, there's so much, like if it's this big, I almost feel like you have to color coordinate and like I, I can't accept it everywhere. I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's like a Rubik's Cube of makeup, but bigger. Okay, so as I'm looking through these pictures, I feel like the the pan holders, the things that are like around each shade are like iridescent-y and that's also messing with my eye to be honestly able to see like what kind of eye look what I want with this. Yeah, all I see is colorful and it's definitely going with the carnival or carnival feel, but oh my goodness, I'm overstimulated. Okay, there's some swatches. The swatches look nice, but swatches I, we all know can be faked. But I mean, I'm hoping this is good. I have no idea. I'll look at the comments here in a second. I'm just overwhelmed looking at it. I just, holy guacamole. It's just overwhelming. Okay, so now in this picture, I see way more dark tones. Like I feel like the lighting on this is really adjusting and changing what I'm seeing too. Like now I'm seeing more nudes over here and now it looks like all the pinks are maybe in a row. I'm confused, wait. Wasn't there more pinks down below too? Okay, so I'm there are different pictures for this, I'm thinking, because now I'm sitting here looking at other pictures and I'm wondering, this is a different palette, I think. Did somebody get their pictures wrong? I am so confused. Is this multiple? Yeah, this doesn't have the, the things surrounding each pan. Oh, this is confusing. Is this multiple palettes? What's happening? This is a very not same picture of anything. This last picture is all in shadow. It looks like a bunch of neutral tones and dark tones. Looks like 27 million dark shades and then some rows of pinks. I'm confused even what I'm looking at here. So I'm not even like, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, thank you. Where would I even put this in my tiny house? It's probably the size of my tiny house. I don't even know. I'm confused at what I'm looking at as I scroll through these pictures. I mean, I'm gonna scroll down here to see if anybody else. Okay, so first comment here. What the French toast? There are like four pairs of the same color. One might just be a little bit darker. The colors look beautiful, but I would never use this. This is so hard to look at. Yes, makeup in quarantine, I feel you. This is so hard to look at. And this is probably very big. Show me where I can keep this, exactly. Did they pay you for posting this? <laughs> Honestly, it's boring and too huge. That's a puzzle. Exactly, it's like a huge unfolded Rubik's Cube of confusion. What? Oh Jesus, that's too much for me. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say no. I gotta, I gotta uh, abort mission. I gotta get out of that. I'm overwhelmed and overstimulated just trying to figure out what I'm looking at. And I just feel like though, I was looking at multiple palettes. I feel like there was some, the, continuity was missing there on what I was looking at. Oh, you guys, I'll be so glad when I can get a haircut again. My stylists can't get me until like July and that's more like the middle end of July. I'm on the cancellation list, but oh gosh. Moving on. 
apparently another naked palette dropped and the only reason I even knew about this was because some of the people that I subscribe to are just now kind of starting to put out some people have been still doing these purchaser passes um, throughout the whole time but some people are kind of just getting back into them too and I saw this on a thumbnail with Kelly Gooch and I was like I thought the concept of a naked palette it's changed. The concept of the naked palettes has changed because I think the naked palettes were more like the nudes and like you're doing these sultry things and we're using a pun on words. Um, and then we came out with like the cherry palettes and stuff like that. And I gotta say, I totally agree with Kelly Gooch and if you've not seen her video, I'll link her below. It feels like two different palettes and it doesn't feel like a naked palette. I feel like they're so in love with that, that that marketing brand and that's like you know they know what sells so they're gonna keep pushing that out there um I, I agree with Kelly that this should have been something different because uh it looks like it's got like one two three four five six just purples and then it's got this bright aqua tealish looking color and then we got some neutrals on the left that kind of go into maybe like a gold shimmer. And I'm just looking at it going, why? Or why is it at least maybe, I think I would have been more open to it if it wasn't a naked palette. Like the, it's the Naked Ultraviolet by Urban Decay. I kind of think this just should have been its own thing. And I, I, and maybe even Kelly said this, like put it in something smaller, like a ColourPop, you know, like nine, six, like a nine pan and just do more purples and tones of purples and then you could even add a little bit of gray into that and that's how you can work a gray and with a great purple and some nudes in there maybe but I'm just looking at it going I can see certain people that I know that love purple getting this and enjoying it I don't really enjoy purple that much but then I'm also looking at it going the other half doesn't look purple like this whole upper corner and in this picture you could see it better with the lighting Oh, this, the middle shade doesn't even look minty in it. It doesn't look like it's a aqua at all. It just looks more of a highlighty, maybe greenish yellow. And then the rest over here just look nude. This is a very confusing palette for me. I'm kind of curious to see how people like it when they get to use it. So maybe, maybe that'll be more interesting. But as far as Nicole purchasing this, I don't even see it in the cards because this is something I would not reach for. Purples really aren't my thing anyway, but I feel like the Naked brand has kind of like shifted what, what does the Naked brand mean? Like what does that, that mean to you? Cause I feel like that's just such a weird name for that. It's coming soon. <laughs> Somebody just said, do they not believe in matte colors? Are these not even matte? Oh, I was looking for an arm swatch, but I don't even see an arm swatch. I just see them like chunk to the sides there. So interesting. ColourPop has a great purple palette for $12 and isn't half neutrals that you already have in your collection, says Julia. Julia, it's like you and I are friends. It's like you know me. Do you watch me, Julia? Hi, Julia. No, just no. Half of the palette is a waste with browns and neutrals. The other half are not so vibrant for purples. They have so many browns within their palette. Why not bite the bullet and create something new? Yeah, I think Kelly Gooch said she did ask to get this in her PR, so I'm curious to see how she does with it. But for me, I'm just kind of like, I'm confused by it. And I don't have any need to go out and purchase it. So I'm gonna save my money there too. Is there anything in here I've said I've wanted to purchase? I think the only thing I was in kind of interested in was the essence. And then even then I'm like, they didn't make it easy for me to get it, so I'm over it. Didn't really need it. Okay, okay. I want to hear your thoughts on this one, because this one jumped out at me. Milani. I love a good drugstore brand. You love a good drugstore brand. But have you ever heard of a setting spray that's a sunscreen? Is this a thing? Is this real? Would it make me break out? Possibly. Let's look into it. This is the Milani Make It Last with Sunscreen Setting Spray SPF 30 Micro Mist Setting Spray to protect your skin from sun exposure and environmental aggressors. What? Leaves your skin subtly dewy and hydrated finish with for $13.99 sheer and non-sticky formula. But is it non-sticky? I need to know. Leaves skin with a dewy hydrated finish up to 16 hour wear. I like Milani. I like their foundations. I've heard good things about some of their concealers and their powders. I love a good drugstore brand that's cruelty free. All about it. Let's see what people are saying because I'm real. Like this is the thing that I think even whenever this, when did this come out? A couple weeks ago. I think even when I was scrolling, if I, I think when I did see this, cause I feel like I did see it. I can't fully remember, but it was one of those things that I was like, 
This one's making me do a double take because I want to know if you're real. Like, it's kind of like when you see, is this your ghost? Did I just see, just, did, did, did I just see that? What? That's what I felt like that was. Ooh, a lot of people keep saying, I hope it will be better than the Mac Fix Plus plus SPF flop. And I'll, some people are liking it. Somebody else just said it's not really meant for setting makeup. Somebody else just said, genius, I'll take 10. Some people are talking about the amount of alcohol that has to be used. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. Britt White said the amount you would need to actually be getting an SPS would be so much product. Some people are saying the ingredients probably wouldn't be safe because of something with the alcohol. A lot of people are tagging other people. Someone said, I hope it won't sting the eyes like the MAC SPF spray did. That was such a horrible product. And they got, and Ulta got rid of it with like in a week. Some people are saying they don't want to try it until they see some reviews for it, so I feel like that too. A lot of people are like shocked by this, so tell me your thoughts on it. Have you heard anybody trying it yet? Because, I mean, I live in Florida. I'm interested. Like, if that's something that will keep my makeup together and give me a little bit of extra SPF, I mean, always make sure you do proper skincare, guys. We, especially when you're doing serums because your face is way more likely to burn when you're using your serums and stuff like that. So always be mindful, but I'm curious. This has piqued my interest, but I want to know more and I want to understand more first because a lot of people are like, eh, I don't think this would work or, oh, the ingredients have a lot of alcohol. It's going to be drying. There's all the things. So mm. thinking about that, not, not a hundred percent. Obviously I want to know more. I want to understand more. Obviously you wouldn't want to use it as a standalone sunscreen. I think this is just meant to be that ch -ch -ch at the end of your makeup. Okay guys, that was kind of the only things that made me take note while I was going through like what two and a half months worth of products that had come out so I don't know tell me what you're thinking as far as new makeup goes because I know some of you that's how you cope with stress so some of you probably have been purchasing through this time frame some of you aren't even thinking about it but as you can see I feel like my hands are clean from this oh wait there was one other palette that I was curious about there's like an elf rainbow palette out do you guys know about this I think it's newer. Yeah, it's the e.l.f. Cosmetics and Jay Kissa Rainbow Colors. It's like the eyeshadow palette to the rescue, 20 bucks. I'm mostly focusing on the palette on this because I wasn't looking for like anything else really. And that is a fun rainbow palette, but it's kind of like once you have a rainbow palette, what are you gonna do with it? Do you do those artistry, artistry looks? Are you gonna piece it together with other things? For me, this is not something I would jump to, but I could totally see all my babes out there, and I know some of you have some awesome Instagrams that I've been watching and following and liking your pictures. You guys could do a lot of stuff with that. For me, it's not something I think I'd reach for a lot, even for that really inexpensive price tag. I mean, Elf's a great product too, so it's not even like that would stop me at all. I think the quality is probably there. It's just not something that it sparks joy for me. It's not something I'm gonna constantly reach for. And I'm noticing, in my beauty space with my eyeshadow palettes, I'm mixing it up more now than I normally do because I feel like I'm always like testing and trying and wanting to give you that next level review during like for BoxyCharm palettes and all those things. I'm just doing stuff for fun right now and what I'm reaching for is what's making me happy and none of those colors. I don't see myself reaching for a palette like that even while I'm feeling creative and inspired and trying different stuff. So, you know what I mean? Guys, this was so much fun to kind of go back through, you know, what did we miss out on during the pandemic? It looks like not much, at least not for me. But tell us below, what are you getting? What are you interested? What did you already maybe get? I love you guys so much. Keep positive. Tell us something good below because I love hearing those things from you. And I've seen you guys interact with each other in the comments and I love that so much. Thank you so much for watching. And if you happen to be new to my loud, weird, crazy, unique channel, hi new friends. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of these fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every week. Bye friends.